That's Chuck. Hi, Chuck. Hey, Karen. Uh, let me tell you something. It was so great to see you back up on the big screen. Thank you so much. From the moment we see you on screen, it's like you had instant chemistry with Indiana Jones. Was that easy to pick up? You know, it seemed as easy as could be. I, I just, you know, from the moment that Harrison and I kind of reconnected to talk about, do, you know, to, to talk about doing the film together, um, I just thought, you know, this is going to be just as easy as if we were, had done the other one a few weeks ago. What about the first moment that you actually m saw Harrison again? I'm sure it's been a long time. I hadn't seen him for a couple of years. We, we used to live around the corner from each other in New York City. We occasionally would just literally run into each other on the street and stand and talk and catch up a little bit. But it had been a while since I had seen him. And I saw him for the first time. I, I went to Los Angeles to do um, a sort of co a costume screen test. Uh, we were looking at different looks for the character and uh, showing Steven some ideas for the costumes. And we gathered together that day for the first time. Harrison came. I met Shia LaBeouf for the first time that day. And Harrison just, when he arrived, he came up into my trailer and we gave each other a big hug and started talking. And it just, it was just completely clear that it was just going to be, um, you know, a pleasure and a joy to dive back into this film and the relationship between the characters and working with Harrison and Steven again. Yes, but was it a pleasure and a joy to be standing around in a sand pit all day? You know, that day was actually one of my favorite days. It was, it's, it's, you know, there are always like the stories behind the, <laughs> the scenes, so to speak. And that was, you know, the way that they did that to make us sink was actually very, very clever. And, but, but didn't really work that well. So there were a lot of little kinks that we were working out. And um, it, it was a bit, you know, it went on and on and on and on, you know, where one of us, the mechanism would make one of us sink and the other one would stay up. And, and it was actually a lot of fun. I'm assuming, and I, I'm one of these people that hates, that loves to know, but hates to know at the same time how things are done. But there's also a scene where you guys are running down uh, some stairs that are uh, slowly going away. I must have got a lot of exercise that day. You know, that was one of the most challenging things. I don't know that it looks it on film. You know, maybe it does. But, but um, you know, that, it was uh, extremely difficult to do. There was a great distance between those steps. And those things, the, the steps are receding into the wall, and there's a quite a, a fall if you're going to fall. And so, you know, we did it, and we did it again and again and again, but it was an incredible set that was built. All, you know, it was all real and all hydraulic. There's no CGI in any of that. We're all actually doing, you know, the, 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 the run down the steps, and the, and the steps are actually receding, and, and, um, you know, so it has that great sort of live sense. Now, we've talked about the exercise and we've talked about the, the sand. <laughs> were you happy to get out of the water? <laughs> yeah, we're in a bit of water at this time. Um, uh, yeah, the wa water stuff is always a little scary to me. Um, I'm not one of those, you know, water babies who's really comfortable in deep water. So I, I think for me, sometimes that stuff is... is you know, it's where my heart starts pounding the most when I have like mass, massive amounts of water coming at me. How was this, uh, the fan reaction? I know at my screening there was cheering, people were wearing indie hats and so forth, and I understand that you saw it with, the, with a big crowd. Well, I, we saw it at the Cannes Film Festival with 3,500 people, and that was just extraordinary. And we got a huge standing ovation at the end of the film, and they just clapped on and on and on. And, and that was very thrilling. And we saw it here in New York. Uh, last night with an audience and that was also a very enthusiastic crowd so uh, you know we're feeling we're feeling pretty buoyed by by the experiences. I recently was with a buddy of yours uh, Jeff Bridges and I brought up Starman and he told me that you two have an idea for a sequel and I think we'd all like to see a sequel are you on board? I would absolutely love to do a sequel with Starman and I think you know I know from people coming up to me and, and mentioning this to me all the time, people want to know where that baby is. They want the baby, and they want the baby now to be grown. And because he said he would be a wise person and a wise teacher, there's a lot of uh, feeling out there that, that people want this to be some extraordinary person who's going to come and help us out of all the mess we've gotten the world into and help us you know, with some solutions to some things. And, I still have that little silver ball, you know, <laughs> waiting. Well, let's hope that happens. It's great to see you on the screen. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much.